you know, like bookshelves and stuff. And I've had a couple of, of requests to show my other bookshelves because I've done a tour of my witchy room. But people are interested to see all the collections of books I've got on my, like, I call it my personal bookshelf because it's all just like, it's, I'm warning you, it's all fiction, <laughs> nothing magical in here. So if you want to watch it, I hope you enjoy it. Here we go. Now, just a little glimpse through the door. These are my shelves that I'm going to show you. Oh, and there's a dog on my bed. <laughs> but yeah, so they're in my bedroom. There's quite a lot of them. They used to be black. They were those, those crappy IKEA shelves that were originally black. You can kind of see it there, but I painted them grey because they painted my room grey and they just look so much better like that. So, don't know where you want to start. <laughs> this one is my favourite because it has all the pretty colourful books on it <laughs> and special editions but I'll take you over to this one first this is the first shelf on top there's a lot of I love collecting like boxes and stuff and so there's boxes tend to sit along the top with loads of junk in and then my first shelf all of these most of these are um like double packed because I have so many books. It would be wonderful if one day I could have enough bookcases just to put like one row of books on it and not have to like double it up. But this is the first shelf and they are pretty much all Lindsay Sands books, the Arjunu Vampire series. They, I would class them as uh, dirty, dirty vampire books. <laughs> a lot of, a lot of the books on this bookshelf are all um what we class as dark fantasy like romance kind of thing because who needs a boyfriend or a girlfriend when you have a good book <laughs> and they were one of, she was one of the first authors that I started to read and I've kind of carried on reading the series as it's gone on and I think they're all like the American editions of those like the covers because they changed them they changed them to these and I don't really like these because they just seem like a ripoff of like a million other covers, book covers out there. Then you'll notice that on a lot of my shelves I have little little bits and bobs and on this one. These are so cute, you can get these in like water stones. And they're just like miniature books with, with like quotes and there's a lot of them. There are a lot more I've got. William Shakespeare. Shakespeare, <laughs> The Bard's Guide to Abuse and Affronts, his sonnets, Oscar Wilde, Thomas Hardy, James Joyce, Charles Dickens, Winston Churchill, The Brontes, and Jane Austen. And I just, I love the little colours, they're so cute, and they're good to just take on the train or something, or if you have five minutes. I like them. And you'll notice I have a lot of weird stuff. I, I love like little pots and stuff. I've had this for oh you can see <laughs> you can see the reflection of my little Lego Treve fountain that's on the shelf opposite it. Can you see that? And a dream catcher. <laughs> I don't know what's in it. Let's have a let's have a look. Mm -hmm. Oh sounds interesting. Ah, oh, rings. <laughs> lots and lots of rings. I have a massive collection of rings. <laughs> And then in here, I love this. Look at this little case. How cute is that? I started watching... I'm... I confess I'm a Netflix binge watcher. And I started watching the... Uh, what is it called? H, H2O. You know, the, the mermaids in Australia. <laughs> and um, I was surprised, actually, because it's got two actresses that I like in it that I actually thought were American. One... Phoebe Tonkin I think her name is and she was in the secret circle and then she went into the vampire diaries and now She's in the originals. She plays Hayley. I love her and Claire Holt. She she was in The she went into the vampire diaries and then she plays Rebecca in the originals But they all wore when they were in this mermaid program. They all wore these special necklaces that they found and 
I loved it so much <laughs> that my sister bought me one for my birthday. <laughs> it opens and everything, and if anybody recognises that series, they're like, oh, that's cool. But then if not, that's just me being in it. <laughs> Thank you, Netflix. <laughs> and then on to the next shelf here, more random stuff. I love this thing. It's a like a terracotta pot and like a money pot but there's no way of getting the money out there's no there's no hole or anything you have to literally smash it open when it's full up and they do i've had one of these before and they last a long while and you do fill them up a lot <laughs> they've got that sitting there and then more dark fiction behind it and this let me open my mirror started collecting these books these are lovely i love that they're like they make up a rainbow kind of i haven't got all of them as you can see they're like famous books that where the author begins the letter of the alphabet and these are the ones that i've got and they're so lovely my favorite one is you because look how beautiful that is and I've got A, B, C, D, E, H, I, K, M, N, P, R, T, U, W, X, Y, Z. It's really hard saying the alphabet with uh, letters missing out. <laughs> I challenge you to do it. <laughs> but I'm slowly collecting all of those and I hope that I can get some more soon. But they are quite expensive. Like the... Um, this one was like fifteen ninety nine, and there are other. Seeing, considering that I haven't read them yet, there are other books in the series that I want to buy first, so I'm getting them when I can. And then on to but just look how beautiful they look together. <laughs> Bookshelf art, I tell you. <laughs> and then on to the next shelf. Ah, here. Okay, now we're getting into my favourite authors. That's, there you go, there's a fact about me. I have probably three favourite authors and Cresley Cole, I think that's how you say her name, is one of my absolute favourite authors, which you can see by how many times I have read and abused this book. I bought this book from New and <laughs> it's been totally trashed because I've read it and read it and reread it so many times that I just, I love it. Her storylines are just so intricate and they all weave into the next next like 10 books and her writing is just astonishingly beautiful and I really would highly recommend her to anyone <laughs> so I've got all of the paperbacks that I collected there and then on the shelf below there's because they come out in different in different editions like again I think these are the beginning of the American edition and then down here there are same series but they're in bigger books and then at the back the back there we go into hardbacks but yeah favorite and then move that Jenna Shell Walter she is another of my absolute favorites and the um the Lords of the Under world i think that series is called is it <laughs> i hope so how bad i'm like i'm a super fan and i can't even remember the name of the series <laughs> but i would highly recommend that to anyone they have very strong characters in it and just i love a good i love a good romance here's oh here's one of my cute little um Oh my god, I've like gone blank. My mind's gone blank. Ah, bookends. <laughs> it came as a set and it's like the the prince and the princess. And here's the other one. Like, she's kissing the frog. And then he turns into the prince. And they lived happily ever after. <laughs> no. <laughs> and then I've got a nice little, nice little candle in there. Oh, and this. I love these. I like to collect fancy collections of old books i've hardly read them like you'll see in a minute but i'm like i'll get to it one day these great pieces of literature they have to be read i've got my whole life <laughs> so i've got the fitzgerald p 
penguin classics and just look at that cover they are so lovely and they really show up like the age flappers and philosophers whoever thought of those were very well done and the last one the last <laughs> but I've got them sitting there and I've got my nice little phoenix hanging down I'm addicted to jewellery and I like using jewellery as art because just look how lovely that is and it all dangles down and I think it really fits in with these with these books I didn't do that on purpose but I think it looks good <laughs> and then what's that oh <laughs> here's a photograph I found the other day and it's me and my cat she looks really young there and I was in school it's, I'm in my school shirt it's terrible trying to think it must be it must be like mm, 10 years ago maybe look I've even got the the chipped black nail varnish <laughs> and then on to my next shelf got some earrings there hiding some hardbacks <laughs> oh see I think I've mentioned this in a previous video that I love bottles and this is one of my favorite look at that how cute is that it was Lucky's Lucky's beer and I think we only ever found this once and it is pretty amazing so I've kept it ever since my god oh, look a little thick flower in there <laughs> and I love how green it is as well and then I think I've shown you some of these before but they are the series that I love continued so we've got Cresley Cole's Immortals After Dark series uh, Jenna Showalter's Lords of the Underworld and um, I want to say her name but I'm probably going to butcher it I think she's from like I think she lives in New Zealand Na Naomi Singh I have no idea I'm sorry I've totally butchered that name but she is probably my other favourite favourite author lovely work and again really really well written and really intricate plots and I just I would highly recommend all of these three series and there's a lot of if you like ser I love series books I don't really like reading standalone novels because I get too invested in the characters and I just like to read more reading is like an escapism from your life and it should continue <laughs> well, that's my view anyway um, and I'll show you the inside of my mirror got some photo. Oh, oh, I miss these girls I went on a couple of summers ago I went on holiday and we travelled all around Europe and we went to Scandinavia and Russia as well and I literally I met them on this holiday and it was the best just they were just so nice and I miss them so much that's Bianca she lives in Australia and that's Sharice and she lives in LA in America and they were just the loveliest girls ever and obviously that's me in you know in Rome in our I Heart Roma t-shirts because we're cool <laughs> oh. and then we've got there me and my mum in Disney World a McFly record that I got signed because McFly are beautiful <laughs> look how young they look and if you don't know people in America who McFly are which I just don't understand because they're amazing go and look them up <laughs> And then random stuff. Oh, and then my my grumpy cat calendar. <laughs> Everyone needs a bit of grumpy cat in their life. And then on to my next shelf. Let's go down here a bit. I've got more. I suppose this is more dark fantasy, and it's all doubled up again. I love. I used to love this series. I think it's uh, stopped now, though. Oh, I've just <laughs> I've just noticed that I, we have. Not only a dog on the bed, but a cat on the floor. It's Cleo. <laughs> oh. Hello. Are you purring? Yeah. Oh, how cute is that? <laughs> oh, and now the dog's looking over like, why aren't you giving me any attention? <laughs> um... 
I'll be nowhere without my animals. <laughs> um, I've got a little, got a little soda power queen. Everybody needs a bit of a uh, bit queen, a bit queeny in their life. She's like soda powered, and her arm does a little little wave like this, <laughs> as a royal should do. <laughs> and then down here, more. More dark fantasy. This is definitely my dark fantasy shelves. I used to love this series, um, The Black Dagger Brotherhood by J.R. Ward. And it's it was one of those where it was it was just so cool to read. But the new book came out a while ago. I think it was titled The Shadows and I haven't even read it and that is so unlike me because usually in one of these series when a new book comes out I devour it in a couple of days and I just, I started reading it and I just had to stop because it just felt like every other page or on, well every other word, every other sentence was just full of product placement and it was just driving me crazy and it just, I really started to notice it and I really, I really hate that in books, there you go, there's one of my 25 facts about me in books, I hate like products mentioned in books, like yeah the odd one, you can't escape, if you're writing about life now you can't escape certain things but it just it just annoyed me it was like oh i'm in my hawaii suit or i'm wearing my versace watch and we're going to drink some gray goose vodka and it was just <laughs> while i drive around in my lamborghini it was just so irritating i just i felt it kind of just deviated from the story and the point of it it was just too much about all of this trying to create this lifestyle for these for these men and it was just it just irritated me way too much so it's a shame that I've stopped reading that series now but maybe one day when I have nothing else to read I'll pick it up again <laughs> and then on to the next shelf we've got my Hogwarts School of Witches and Wizardry <laughs> 30 year potions box I love that it's just there's no potions in it that's in the other room <laughs> it's full of books <laughs> but I just like having it sitting there a nice way to keep odd books tidy and then over here does anybody recognize this famous piece of art i suppose no yes <laughs> it's from the rocky horror picture show and it has the dvd in it but i just i love it it's so cool it's in the special it's like a special special edition in it see rocky horror <laughs> i love that I have that stand in there. I love that film. Oh, and then quickly behind it, I've got some random books. Oh, the book thief. Oh, crying. And then I've got the. Does anybody watch that TV show Castle? And it's like about a famous author that joins like shadows there, NYPD. Well, the books that he wrote in the show that he's famous for, they actually released the books. And I was so surprised when I found this out. Like, I went on Amazon and had to buy them. <laughs> Haven't read them late yet though. My to be my to be read list is extremely long. <laughs> and then the last shelf on this one is full of Anne Rice novels. There's my little first edition. <laughs> it's so battered. Interview with the vampire. And then I've got I think I've got most of them along here those and I've got to get I'm ashamed to admit that I haven't I haven't read them I'll get to it one day I just I saw the obviously uh, the book is before my time and I saw the film first and I can't stand Tom Cruise absolutely can't stand him and when I started reading the book I just kept picturing him and it just it just annoyed me so much but I had to put the book down. <laughs> I just, I'm one of those people that when I read a book, I imagine, I imagine like characters. Say if like I've seen, I've seen the TV show and I'll reread a book, I'll imagine the characters from the TV show in the book. Or just my favourite actors, just, or musicians, just people that I find attractive, I tend to put in like sexy roles in my books. <laughs> Like, I think I'll forever picture, you know, did anybody watch True Blood, Eric, Alexander Skarsgård? I think I'll picture him 
and Ian Summerholder in like, all the books that I read. <laughs> I think maybe I'll leave that video there. I think I'll have to do it in parts because this video is already 20 minutes long. So here's my cat again. <laughs> that is the end of part one and I hope you stick around for the next bit.